most important variable of the screen making process is determining the correct exposure time for your stencil. Today I'm going to show you how to find that exposure time using our chromaline exposure calculator. And with our exposure calculator, it goes through step by step in the instructions here on how to use it, um, but it, it's a good visual with this video as well. So what the exposure calculator looks like, it's a piece of film and it has a filter taped to it. The filter is gonna filter out a given amount of UV light for each one of these steps. So essentially what we have at the end is a stream with five different exposure times all on the same screen. Now I, I like to do a double, in ed, you know, you take an educated guess. If you are currently making screens, you have to be close. Um, but this is gonna help dial it in even more. So we'll take an educated guess whether you think that your exposure time is 30 seconds, a minute, dependent on your exposure unit, the emulsion that you're using. Um, but you just take an educated guess and we'll shoot it for double the amount of time that you think it is. Because you wanna have an overexposed point and an underexposed point all on that same screen, which will help determine the correct step a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go through right now on how to expose and use the calculator. So when using the exposure calculator, you wanna make sure that the filter side is down on the glass. So I'll lay that down, filter side down on the glass. I have a screen here, this is a 156 yellow mesh screen, coated one and one with chroma blue. I'm gonna take an educated guess, and I'm gonna say it's somewhere in the um, 10 second range as far as my exposure time. So I wanna shoot this for double the time that I expect it to be. So I'm gonna set my, my time here at 20 seconds. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it, start the vacuum, and the vacuum is gonna draw out all of the air, creating good contact between the glass, the film, and your stencil. You'll see it as the air draws out, you can see the frame, it sucks down real nice. Got really good contact right now between my film and my screen. So from here, turn the light on, let it run for the 20 seconds. Now keep in mind with that filter, each one of those steps is gonna filter out a given amount of light. So at the end, we're gonna have five different exposure times on this screen. Um, the top longest exposure time will be 20 seconds and then cut down from there. So that is complete. Turn off the vacuum. We'll take the screen out and we'll go develop it. So now that we've developed this screen, we're gonna use an inspection loop like this and we're gonna look at each one of these steps. We'll see that the bottom step here some of the lines are falling off. That's telling me that's underexposed. When I look at this top patch here, most of the lines are completely filled in, telling me that's overexposed. So as I inspect each one of these, I'm looking for the step that has the best resolution and the cleanest lines. So we're looking for mesh bridging, whereas it's bridging over the mesh openings. It's not following stair stepping along and following the mesh openings. You're looking for nice, straight, crisp, clean lines. Whichever one of these steps looks the best, there's a little factor next to it. So I think that this one right here looks the best. So 0.33 times my 20 seconds. So as you can see, the bottom step down here, some of the lines are falling off, which is telling me that is underexposed. And as I go all the way to the top, most of these lines are completely filled in, telling me it's overexposed. So with the loop, what we'll do is we'll inspect each one of these lines, looking for the crisp cleanest. And I think the second step, right here, looks the best. So 0.33 times the 20 seconds that we shot this for, leaves me with an exposure time of about seven seconds.